Being a pilot, I've got two really major fears, two things that keep me up at night. The first fear is crashing. Obviously, dying in a helicopter crash or a plane crash or whatever reason I'm crashing in an aircraft is a major fear of mine and I want to do everything I can to avoid that. The second fear and maybe even a bigger fear than that is losing my medical. Every licensed pilot in the United States has to have a medical, especially if you're going to be a commercial pilot working for a company that is doing some sort of aviation service, you have to have a medical. Now obviously this makes sense. You want a pilot to be medically safe to fly. If you are going to fly a commercial flight across the country and you're just a passenger you want your pilot up there to be safe so obviously it makes sense for pilots to be checked out make sure that they're healthy and that they are medically sound to fly but the problem comes with the FAA now I'm not saying the FAA is out to do anything negative or they're trying to hurt pilots I think it's quite the opposite you know they need pilots they want the pilots to be successful and safe and fly however the FAA is a government bureaucracy and it does not work well and it works wrong and it harms pilots and when I say that a government agency is harming pilots, I want to be super crystal clear about what I mean. I do not mean that they are physically harming pilots, but effectively does cause harm to pilots. And let me explain. Now, this is from the NIH, and this is self-reported healthcare avoidance behavior in US military pilots related to fear of loss of flying status. So here's what they did, uh, materials and methods. We conducted an internet survey of the general population of US pilots from November 1st, 2019 through August 1st of 2021. The current study is a sub analysis of military pilots results here's what really matters there were 72 percent of military pilots who reported a history of healthcare avoidance behavior and no statistical difference was found between age groups gender and military pilot types there were 55.5 percent of pilots who reported a history of seeking informal medical care 33.7 percent of pilots who have flown despite a new symptom they felt required medical evaluation 42.5 percent of pilots who reported withholding medical information on an air medical screening and 11.4 percent of pilots who reported a history of undisclosed prescription medical use 72 percent of military pilots who reported a history of healthcare avoidance behavior this is an emergency this is like code red number one we are having pilots fly that have medical conditions that they're not talking about and they're trying to keep Keep themselves flying because it's their career and they're not talking about it this is a major code red emergency now this was military pilots but there's also uh, a study done on i think civilian pilots here so healthcare this is also from the nih healthcare avoidance in aircraft pilots due to concern of air medical certificate loss a survey of 3765 pilots Objective to study healthcare avoidance behavior in pilots related to fear of air medical certificate loss methods, voluntary participation in an anonymous survey distributed to US pilots. Results, here we go. A total of 3,765 pilots were included in the analysis. There were 56.1% of pilots who reported a history of healthcare avoidance behavior due to fear of losing their air medical certificate. There were 457 who saw informal medical care and 26.8 who misrepresented or withheld information on a written healthcare questionnaire for fear of air medical certificate loss. Let me read that first one one more time. This is general population of pilots. There were 56.1 percentage of pilots who reported a history of healthcare avoidance behavior due to fear of losing their air medical certificate. This is causing harm to pilots. Pilots have medical problems and they are not going to the doctors. That is hurting them. When you have a problem, you need to get that checked out and you need to get better, obviously. If people are not doing that, that is causing harm. The system has to change. I don't know how I can say this any more loudly, any more emphatically. This is a major stop everything you're doing. Put all attention on this emergency. The most important thing is the pilots that are flying people around. You know, in a helicopter, it's just me. I am single pilot. So if something happens to me, everyone on board is at risk and things happen a lot faster in helicopters and if i've got a problem i need to make sure that i get checked out you know i don't want any of my passengers getting hurt that's that's my worst fear you know let alone hurting myself and crashing an aircraft and i want to get checked out but i do also have this fear that if i get sick I don't want to go to the doctor because they might take my medical away. So with all that said, I don't have the exact diagnosis of how to fix the system, but it does need to be fixed. And the only way that I can help and y'all can help is by signing a petition and getting this movement growing and 
making a storm about it you know th that phrase the squeaky wheel gets the grease the louder we are the more of a headache we put up no pun intended the more of a problem we cause the more attention it's going to get so what everyone can do and i'll do this here in a moment once i uh click this video off but um the pilots pandemic and that's a great title too because it truly is the pilots pandemic and urgent need for air medical reform Y'all can go, I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the description below and you can read through the whole story, but um, the basic premise is this system needs to change and there needs to be more oversight and we have to get this fixed. We have to figure out a way for pilots to be safe, to get the care they need and for aviation to continue. So there needs to be more attention on this. It's time for a change. We have to shed light on a long overdue subject. We deserve the basic human rights to wellness without the fear of never flying again. That's truly my fear. Like I don't want my medical to get taken away. We deserve to regain a special issuance without paying thousands of dollars out of pocket. And we deserve a mental health pathway for aviators elsewhere. It's, I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. That's what needs to happen. So uh, right now this petition currently has uh, 12,000 signatures. That's quite a bit. If y'all can go online and sign it as well, I will keep following this topic. And uh, if you have anything to say, leave it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next one.